Could you be a hater? <laughs> huh. If you're watching this video, there's a strong chance that you're either a hater, a hater in training, or simply you're being hated on or attracting haters and you have no idea why. Well, stay tuned. I got seven signs and reasons that you could possibly be attracting haters. Before we even get started, let's find out what is a hater. So according to the New Oxford Dictionary, a hater is a person who greatly dislikes a person or a thing. So reason number one, you're flat out cocky. You're bold with it, you're arrogant, and that can come off to some people as a big turn off. And automatically, you're going to be drawing haters. You know what? At the end of the day, it's good to be confident and, you know, have good self-esteem. But when you're overly, you know, conceited and caught up in yourself, you're going to automatically draw in haters no matter what. Just mark it down in your book. If you're cocky, hater is going to be checked off your list. Number two, you just simply outgrew the people you're around. You know, a lot of times we, you know, make friends with people that we had things in common with. And then later on, we end up outgrowing those friendships because we no longer have those things in common. Example, if you and your homegirls used to always hang out and go to the mall because you had no job and, you know, do each other's nails and pedicures and, you know, laugh, joke, stay on the phone till midnight and, you know, just basically doing nothing. And one day you decide, you know what? I want more for my life. I want to be able to make some money. I want to be able to climb up the ladder and I'm going to get a job. And you go out, you get a job and you bust your butt, you get the things you want, you outgrow that friendship. Why? Because your friend stayed stagnant. They chose to not go get a job. They chose to continue to, think, to, to do the things that you guys no longer have in common or you no longer have in common with them. And now they're calling you a hater because they're saying, oh, now that she has a job, she doesn't see anybody. Or now that she has money, now she thinks she's all that you know what? You're hating because you know what? I have things that you wish you had, but yet you don't want to work for it. Or you simply just misery loves company. You want me to be sitting around like a no life, low life, just like you. No. Nah. This might come as a shocker, but number three, you're a self hater. You have no confidence in yourself and you beat yourself up about things that are irrelevant to what makes you beautiful and what makes you great. Everyone around you can tell you, oh, you look so beautiful. And you're like, oh, no, I'm fat. I don't think so. It's like, what? Someone gave you a compliment. Whether you think so or not, you need to take it for face value that someone else told you that you look nice. Take the compliment and appreciate it. And if you don't believe in yourself, at least let other people believe in you. But don't bash yourself and definitely don't bash yourself in front of others. The more you have lower self-esteem and you bash your own self and you know you downgrade the qualities that other people see about you that are good, guess what? You're going to draw haters because you know what? You hate yourself. You don't even appreciate your own self. So why would anyone else appreciate you? Why would anyone um, care so? Like they might as well just join you in being a hater because you already a hater. You know what they say? Birds of a feather flock together. And if you're a hater to yourself, you're going to draw other people who hate you too. Number four, you're a people person. People just naturally gravitate to you. You know, you get along with everybody. Um, you make friends with everyone. And People just naturally love being around you because you you have such an aura that draws people to your positivity and your positive thinking. And you, you draw haters because of that. Because you know what? People who don't have positive vibes and people who don't have the peace that you have, 
and the calm that you have will hate on you because you know what? They're not able to keep their poise like you do. They're not able to naturally have people gravitating to them like you do. So they're going to hate on you because simply you're naturally an all around person. You're ungrateful. That's number five. Let's talk about it. You might not think that being ungrateful will draw haters, but believe it or not, if you're not grateful for the things you have, people are not going to like you for that. They're going to feel that, you know what? There's a lot of people who don't have what they, what you have, but yet you're complaining about it. You have a great car, Mercedes Benz, BMW. Oh, this piece of crap. I need a new car. What? There's people out here skateboarding, walking to work, and your Mercedes is a piece of crap? Wow. Ungrateful. You have a husband that loves you, but yet you're complaining because he didn't want to take the trash out and you find him to be a piece of crap? Wow. Okay. Ungrateful. There's people out there who are still waiting for their spouse. Wow. And then you have a job that pays really well and is able to support you and your family and is stable. But yet you're like, oh my gosh, I can't stand this job. Ugh, I wish I didn't have to be this and that. I wish I didn't have to be a lawyer. I wish I didn't have to be a nurse. I wish I didn't have to be a doctor. This job is just way over the top. I can't deal with it no more. But yet there's people who's doing minimum wage wishing they had the capabilities to do your job. You're ungrateful. You're going to draw haters. And you know what? That's something that needs to be changed. The more grateful you are, the less chances of you having haters. Because you know what? When you're not grateful or you don't realize the blessings that you have, people will tend to hate on you because they feel like, you know what, you're never satisfied. And why should you have the things you have when they don't have what you have and would have loved to have the opportunity you have to appreciate them? So that's something to work on, being more grateful. You're not going to want to hear this, but you're selfish and you know it. Number six. Selfishness. You are a receiver. You're always on the receiving end. You don't give up your time. You don't give up your money. You just take, 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 and take. You juice people of their energy, but you never give. You you don't... You know what? I'm not the type of person who will give out money, but I'll definitely give my time. If you need me somewhere, if you need me to be at a party, if you need me to have a chit chat girls night out, if you need us to go have lunch together, I'll use my time as my money. Cause you know what? Time is money. I might not give you no money, but in that sense, I'm a giver cause I'm giving you my most valuable thing, which is my time. Now there's some people who don't give up their time, but you know, they're gift givers. They love to give gifts. They show their appreciation in different ways. And that's understandable because everybody show their appreciation in different ways. But if you're the type that you never show appreciation at all for what others do for you, but yet you're always receiving, it gets old. And after a while, you're going to create haters and people who resent you for being around them and being their friend, their family member, their spouse, because they feel like they're underappreciated because you never give. And I'm not saying that, oh, when someone does something for you, you have to feel like you need to give. But there's a time in place where once in a while that you show your appreciation, whether it be your time, your money, your attention. Sometimes it's good to be on the giving side. Giving is more beneficial than receiving. I'll tell you that much. Yep. You're paranoid. <laughs> You're paranoid. You have no haters. You think everyone is your enemy. You're paranoid. That's number seven. You have no haters. People walk around these days saying, 
you're a hater, you're a hater, you're a hater. We're, why, why are you having so many haters and no one is hating on you? You have nothing for anyone to be hating on. You, no one knows you exist. And simply, just because you have something doesn't mean you automatically have haters out there. People are out here creating haters that don't exist. It's just, just stop. You know what? That's creepy. You know, when you're walking around, you know, making assumptions that you have haters all over the place and you're being vocal about it, people are going to look at you like, well, who's the hater? It's not me, but I don't know where you get this obsession with thinking that you have haters, but yeah, you need to really start really evaluating your thoughts and, you know, the things that are going on around you that's making you feel like you have a hater. Or simply, it could just be that people just like to say that they have haters because it makes them feel special. Either way, before you start calling people haters around you, please have some valid proof and some confirmation before you start accusing people of haters. And you know what? Sometimes you can feel that someone is a hater, but you can't pinpoint it. In those situations, it's kind of best to keep it to yourself because nothing is more offensive to call someone a hater who's not hating at all. So be careful who you call a hater. So let me get this straight. You watched the whole video. You appreciated the seven reasons why you may be uh, attracting haters, but yet you still haven't hit the like button. You still didn't subscribe. You didn't hit the notification bell. So you know what I call that? A hater. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. But either way, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to hear more of my videos. And also, if you have any comments regarding uh, the video, if you felt like some of them was wrong, some of them were valid, or you've actually encountered some haters in totally different ways, let me know. Let's talk about it.